Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. And I'm not at my door today. I'm in New Hampshire at Franconia Notch State Park. And I'm hiking up Falling Waters Trail. National Geographic listed this as one of the top 20 most beautiful hikes in the world. And I'm going to tackle it today. The top is Alpine Tundra, which is uh, unusual for the East Coast, but it's so high up. And it also comes with some of the most unusual weather. I'm not far from Mount Washington, one of the fastest wind speeds in the world has ever been recorded. In this Alpine area, the wind can go so strong that it can blow and pull plants right out of the ground. So the alpine plants here are specially adapted to this life in a dramatic, windy, cold at times environment. Lots of rain and yet life survives. So let's go up to the summit and see what we can find. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're going to find. And here's the make this invasive, which is exhausting. Dogwoods are flowering. And I just took a couple swipes. Terrestrial environment. Uh, produce seed pollen. And it's. As I walk up through these woods, I see a mix of hemlock trees, red spruce trees, balsam fir. And you can see there's not a lot of soil up here. A lot of these trees have shallow root systems. So they don't actually grow very big on these mountains because they're frequently blown down as a combination of this shallow root system as well as the wind and rain and storms and snow and ice that frequent these mountains. At this particular elevation, I'm also seeing some deciduous trees, which include yellow birch and some white birch. This is eastern hemlock, which has not yet succumbed to the woolly adelgid that has killed virtually 100% of the trees in the state of Virginia. This is a red spruce. You can see how the needles are packed together. And the needles are kind of square or kind of diamond shape in cross section, which distinguishes the red spruce from the balsam fir that's up here as well. Here's a yellow birch with its very distinctive prop roots. I've done a really cool episode during the winter time about the yellow birch and their prop roots and how they grow that way. In another episode, you might want to check out. Here's another native mountain tree. This is hobble bush. It has these distinctive heart-shaped leaves with a very defined venation. And hobble bush is cool because when it flowers, it has two different kinds of flowers, which makes it, again, pretty distinctive. Another tree species here, characteristic to higher elevations in the south or northern hardwoods forests is the beech tree. And you can see the beech tree has like a papery sound to its leaves and it has little notches on the edges. And I always look at these leaves and I pick one up and feel it and I say, yeah, that feels like paper. That's a beech tree. It's also recognized by a distinctive gray bark, which on larger trees, people will take a knife and cut a heart and put in the initial, their initials and that of a girlfriend. Though so that's not recommended. Please don't do that to trees. So I'm gonna keep on hiking and turn my camera back on when I get to some higher elevation. All right, now I'm walking underneath a beautiful birch tree. You can see right here, and uh, Native Americans, the indigenous peoples, would use this bark both for starting fires 
as well as make birch bark canoes. This trail is aptly named the Falling Waters Trail. Right now, I'm somewhere between 3,000 and 3,500 feet, maybe higher, up the ridge going to a 4,500 foot summit. And you can see the forest has changed a lot. The trail has not changed. It's still rocky, but the trees are predominantly red spruce, balsam fir. There's still a few uh, birches here. And you can see a lot of the trees are smaller because once the trees get to a certain size, I think they're called naturally by the wind. And there's a really big uh, spruce or fir that's fallen there. There's a white birch. The forest type is changing as we go up. There's very little understory vegetation, almost nothing except moss at this level. So I'm at about 3,500 to 4,000 feet up the ridge now. And it looks like it's mostly balsam fir all around me, and it's densely packed and growing very tightly together. Probably a great protection against the elements. Uh, it's still very damp here. You can see that almost everything is covered with moss. And here's that uh, balsam fir. You can identify by these flat needles, kind of white on the back, green on top. And approaching 4,000 feet, here's the scene. Balsam fir, mosses, and ferns. Here you can see bonsai red spruce, very little soil, extreme conditions, constant pruning by wind and ice, none of them over four or five feet tall.
Thank you for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door. I still got about 2.6 miles to go, but my camera battery is about gone. So I hope you enjoyed this look at the alpine conditions and mountaintops here in the White Mountains of New Hampshire. This has been a great experience walking across Franconia Ridge. This is my first trip to New Hampshire. If you like what I do, please subscribe, hit the like button, and send me a comment. I love hearing from my viewers and always try to get back to you as soon as I can if I'm not out in the mountains. See you later. I hope you watch my next episode.